hey guys welcome back to my channel AG motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this crazy title animation in adobe after effects by using plugin saber so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in After Effects. Now let's create a new composition. I'll call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height is 1080, frame rate is 30, and duration is 1 minute. And background color is black for now. Hit OK. Choose Grid and Guide options and Titles if action. Now, first, I will create one text over here. And call it as racing now instead of the stroke I'll choose fill for this text I'll delete this stroke for now you are free to choose any font you want press ctrl alt home and align this text to the center now we will apply one effect called ramp on it gradient ramp move this pointers one over here and one over here something like this now instead of black color I'll choose something like this and instead of pure white I'll choose something gray so press Ctrl T on it. Is our stroke layer so what I'll do is I'll right click on it create a shape from the text so it will create one stroke I'll open this go to the add menu trim path open this trim path and should be 70 and press alt click on it time into 50 so our stroke animate will animate like this now if we delete this second layer and if I see our animation it doesn't look like it's animating so what I'll do is I'll open the key for position and I'll move this stroke animation layer over here so as we can see it will look like this now what I'll do is I'll select this stroke and instead of stroke with 3 I'll choose 1 so it will look like this now choose this stroke layer go to the effect and presets and apply drop shadow effect on it if you see here is our drop shadow I will increase the smoothness up to 8 again copy this effect apply same on this layer same on this layer also Now what I can do is I can select this fourth layer, go to the character tab, increase the stroke width a little bit, again hit ctrl D, move this over here, for the color I will choose pure white and again I will increase the stroke a little bit. So as we can see our text looks like this, now what I will do is 
this is our main text layer now i am going to create one solid layer with black color hit ok on it and i apply one effect called saber now go to the custom code instead of saber i will choose text layer and text for the text layer i will choose my text layer as we can see we are not seeing anything because of it's too much glow so what i'll do is i'll decrease the glow bias so spread a little bit core size is 2 or 1 maybe that looks good to me start set should be 0 yep so core size let's make it 2 now press alt click on this mask evaluation and write time into 60 so our saber effect will animate like this i'll choose this quarter for good preview now i'll select this black solid layer and instead of normal mode i'll choose screen mode if i make this full as we can see our text animation is look like this i'll select all these layers hit ctrl shift c and i'll make it text animation hit ok plus f4 and choose this choose quarter increase the scale a little bit now i'll apply one effect called cc scale wipe direction i'll choose minus 90 and for the stretch i'll choose something like 10 and i'll animate this center point create one keyframe over here hit you to see that keyframe go to one second and animate this keyframe just like that as we can see our animation looks like this okay move this keyframe over here select these keyframes and hit f9 yep that looks good to me now I, what i'll do is i'll apply another effect called light sweep yep. i think light sweep is not necessary now what i'll do is i'll create one new comb i call it as a map press ctrl y on keyboard choose this color and i'll apply fractal noise on it increase the brightness something like this go to the menu option hit ctrl 0 to open our project window and drag this map layer over here and apply sorry first we need to duplicate it hit s for scaling unlink this option and choose minus 22 bring down over here and instead of normal i choose screen mode same for here also choose screen mode and hide this map layer press ctrl y to create one solid background just like this now what i'll do is i'll select this uppermost layer and i'll apply one effect called compound blur
Thank you for watching this tutorial guys. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe my channel. Until then stay tuned.